welcome back to the wild. I am currently packing my bags, getting everything ready, all my camera gear together because in the next three, four days, I am flying overseas to Slovenia where I am gonna photograph brown bears and I cannot wait. So I've never been to Slovenia before. I've only ever seen pictures of it and it looks incredible, beautiful and stunning. And I just cannot wait to get over there. And I've also never seen bears before. I've always wanted to, never seen them. The only bear I've ever seen is this little bear right here, Eric. <laughs> Apart from that, I've not seen bears before. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing bears up close and personal in the wild, hearing them, smelling them, seeing them, just everything. I cannot, cannot wait. So the plan is I will be there for five days. I've got to travel with that as well but I will be taking pictures with Slovenia Bears Wildlife Photography Tours. I'll be spending the time with them, getting to know their staff. I've got lots of stuff coming up about that. And yeah, they're gonna show me everything. They're gonna show me the bears, hopefully some pygmy owls, other things, but the main thing is brown bears. And the reason why I'm doing this all now, this discussion beforehand, because this is just the intro, is just to talk to you about what's happening, where I'm going and the equipment I'm taking. So then when I get to Slovenia, I can just get started and show you bears straight away because we just want to see bears. I'll go through my equipment in just a minute because I've got some really exciting stuff to tell you about and some new equipment, as you can see, my fancy new microphone, <laughs> which I'll talk more about why I've got this in a minute. And yeah, I'll go for that all of you just now. So go to the next bit, yeah. <laughs> talk through my equipment whilst doing some cinematic -y stuff because that's what I like. So on this adventure I will be taking with me camera body wise my Fujifilm X-H2S which I will use predominantly for my filming and photography but mainly my cinematic filming, my vlogging and any additional pieces I need. That's the X-H2S. I will also take the Fujifilm X-H2. This will be predominantly used or primarily used for photography. So that's my photography camera. I will be taking a ton of batteries to go with this because I know I'm probably gonna run out. So I've taken loads of batteries and I will also take my tripods as well, my big tripod and my smaller tripods just to do additional work as well when I need to do that. I will be taking with me my Fujifilm 150 to 600 millimeter which is my telephoto lens, which I purchased recently specifically for this trip and for this year because I want to do more wildlife photography. So I have taken the plunge, I've purchased this lens, I have sold my kidney to buy it. So <laughs> let's hope it performs, which I'm sure it will. I've used it before, it's a good lens. And I also take as a just additional lens, just for side stuff, is the Fujifilm 16 to 55 millimeter f-stop 2.8 and this is really great for again that cinematic stuff i'm also going to take the fujifilm 23 millimeter f-stop 1.4 lmwr because it's a fantastic lens it goes with me everywhere i use it for my vlogging i love it so i'm going to take that can't go away without it yeah as i've just spoken about i've got the rose wireless go or wireless go 2 microphone set which got the receiver and the two transmitters and the idea being is that I want to do some interview work whilst I'm away. So that's the plan. That's why I've got this. So I can have two microphones and it also helps moving forward. I want to do more interview like photography. So that's why I've got my microphone set. I've got my additional accessories such as my CF Express cards, my SD cards, my spare ones. I've also got my two external hard drives because I back everything up on both hard drives. I do not want to lose any of this footage. I've got my cleaning kit sensor cleaning kit and I've also got a bean bag, wildlife photography bean bag, which I'm gonna fill up maybe when I'm there, I'll see, or take it with me filled up in my suitcase. And I've actually purchased something new, not expensive, very inexpensive, um, a gimbal, tripod mount kind of gimbal that I can use at the wildlife hide on their base, the wildlife base plates. 
and I just think it would really help with stability. If I'm doing filming, I wouldn't have like shakiness. And I'm gonna give it a go. It wasn't expensive. I got it as like a last minute deal and it was like the last one on the website. So it was like 50 pound, I think. So I was like, whatever, let's go for it. So I'm gonna try that as well. So that's a gimbal's a new bit of equipment for me with my microphone, different setup with my lenses. I've got quite a lot of new stuff, which is crazy. But that's my main things. And my laptop, obviously I'll take to go and have everything sorted out. I'm really grateful as well that this all fits in my Low Pro Tactic backpack, which has been fantastic. I literally can get everything in here. It's like a TARDIS, which is amazing. The last item I am taking with me, which I'm really, really happy to talk about this and still amazed, but Fujifilm UK have kindly lent me, lent me, let me borrow the Fujifilm 200 millimeter F-stop 2, this beautiful prime telephoto lens. Now, ever since I started photography and started shooting with Fujifilm, one, I've always loved prime lenses, and two, I have always, always, always just wanted to try this lens out. I wanted it in my hand. I wanted to see what it looked like, what it felt like, what it smelled like, everything. I just wanted to see what it was like, and now I've got it in my hand. So this is like an actual mini dream come true, and I'm so grateful for Fuji for letting me borrow this for the time that I'm away, and hopefully I can do a review of it when I get back as well. For you folks, that'd be really nice, but it's just incredible. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. So I don't know if I'll end up using this more than my 150 to 600 millimeter. We shall see, but it's great to have both. And the reason why I wanted to borrow this from Fujifilm was, is that I'll be shooting in a forest. I'll be shooting in the wildlife, in the wilderness. It still is winter, it still is dark. So having that F-stop two for a 200 millimeter lens, coupled with the 1.4 teleconverter, I think I'll be fine. So if I end up using this more than my telephoto, it is not a problem, <laughs> it's fine. I think the bears are about 10 to 15 meters away. So I think the 200 millimeter will be absolutely fine, but I'll keep changing them up anyway. But I'm just so happy to have this lens, to try it out. And I just say, yeah, I'm really grateful for Fujifilm. And yeah, it's gonna be great. So that is the setup, everyone. That's my equipment I am taking. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I think that's everything. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of organizing. This whole trip itself is probably, um, probably the, my most challenging. It's gonna be my most challenging trip because I really wanna make a very cinematic experience, documentary style, magical. I wanna capture the bears in like a different kind of way. I want the whole experience to be documented for you. I'm gonna talk about the organization I'm going away with, hopefully do some interviews and just show you the whole experience in a cinematic, magical kind of way. That's my plan. That's what I'm gonna aim for. So yeah, it's my biggest challenge yet. I've got a lot of new equipment with this, my gimbal, my microphones. There's a few things that are new to me, but I will do my best to provide you with something great. And yeah, I just really hope you enjoy it. I know I'm gonna enjoy it. I love bears, I love wildlife, I love nature. So it's gonna be incredible. Yeah, <laughs> breathe. And on that note, I will get going. I will kickstart the trip in the next vlog, the next episode where we'll be going straight out to see the bears. Keep watching, follow on to the next episode where I will be in Slovenia and I will be really excited like this. I will try and film my reactions just so you can see it, but I don't know how challenging that's gonna be, but I'll do my best because I'm gonna be so, so happy. And yeah, I can't wait. So I'll see you there in Slovenia. Let's go find some bears and let's have an amazing time. Bye.